I am Reverend Mobita. I was born here, here in Mongo. Okay. And uh, I went to several uh, primary schools here in Mongo, especially Sefula. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, my, my higher education I was, uh, well, uh, apart from the theological college, uh, was by correspondence mm -hmm. with the uh, 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 London uh, University, mm -hmm. yes, where I obtained the GCE mm -hmm. at that time. Um, I came to to be um, one of the ministers of the United Church of Zambia. I, when the church had come together to form the United Church of Zambia. Before, um, we were scattered here and there. The London Missionary Society, the Methodists, uh, the uh, Paris Evangelical Missionary Society and in, uh, in different areas of the country. And um, well, we met uh, our uh, our former uh, ministers sometimes met uh, in the past before they came together to agree whether a union was possible. And so they agreed that it was possible. And in um, uh, 1965, the United States of Zambia was born and it became one church which became to be you see that the United Church of Zambia. Um, it worked from there as one and um, we created presbyteries, especially where we um, operated when we were separate. Um, there was a Barossi Presbytery, which became a Western Presbytery later. There was the Presbytery in southern province. There was the presbytery in the north at Kasana. Um, there was the presbytery at Rapola. Um, there was the presbytery uh, in Osaka. And also on the copper belt, because our people in Zambia were numerous on the copper belt working for the mines. So we had to create a presbytery there. And later, we also created a, a presbytery at Chipa, uh, in the uh, eastern province at Chipata. Uh, because those who worked uh, variously in Zambia when they went back home to Chipata, to, uh, to the eastern province, they, were, they became uh, more and more increasing. So we agreed that we should um, have uh, a place to stay there. Um, I became to be a minister 
because I grew up uh, under the auspices of the Paris Evangelical Missionary Society uh, from France and Switzerland. Um, when I uh, uh, was trained, I was uh, a young uh, a young person. Um, at uh, well, uh, at that time, we were calling our uh, training ground as uh, the United States of Zambia Theological Training College at Mindoro in Kitwe. It was a, a, a lovely thing. Our batch, um, we were only five when we trained there. And uh, we were the, the first batch to do three years training. Before that, they were only training after uh, two years. Uh, we finished our training in 19, December 1970. And we were dispatched to uh, various uh, uh, presbyteries, and I came to Western Presbyterian. I worked minister in Western Presbyterian um, and uh, at a given time I became moderator in uh, 1984, January 1984 I became moderator of Western Presbyterian. I, 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 I worked very hard because I had, um, uh, well, I was lucky that I was connected to various uh, grounds of the work of the church. I became lay trainer. here in Western Trinidad and I connected with uh, my other fellows who were working in different uh, Trinidad's. In that work, I was even able to train, well, uh, uh, we were training as uh, lay trainers, we were training um, people for work in the church, for different uh, work in our church. But uh, I, for one, I was also given the opportunity to train local ministers. Uh, I did that in this presbytery. And Senior came to a day there. Um, before, before I uh, retired, I was given an opportunity to take up uh, social work. And uh, I did the work of a coordinator of a certain uh, uh, organization and work that we were doing in Kalabo district. That was Nyero Makoma Liwa Ja project. That is Joint Apostolic Action project in Kalabo. 
that was uh, such a work. That was my last uh, uh, work to do in the United States of Zambia before retirement. The focus of the project was to, uh, to help the rural community To, 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 to have some ways of being helped in many different ways. In Calabo, we, uh, we were engaged in uh, making a canal Nyengo uh, Makoma Canal from the border with Angola to district. It was uh, a marvelous work that the United States of did there. Uh, throughout my ministry, as a just minister and as a moderator of Western Presbyterian and as a coordinator in Calabria. I happened to have an opportunity to travel abroad. I, in Africa, I traveled to 17 countries in Africa, seven countries in Europe, and four countries in the Orient. So that gave me a broad, a, a, a broad uh, scope of the life of the church. Um, now the, the Nyangoma Koma, the Uwaja project, uh, was uh, um, very big uh, undertaking that uh, gave me a lot of uh, insight of how the church can help uh, not only the Christians but also the people, the local people. project also gave me a, a, an opportunity to travel quite a lot out, out of the country. And since I retired, I retired in uh, 1999. I was to, uh, well, I was uh, um, uh, able to retire normally in 2001, but I felt very, very tired, and I asked the city of the United States to retire me two years before, and I retired in 1999. Yes, well, this, uh, uh, this badge was given to uh, people uh, who had uh, uh, distinguished the service in the United Church of Zambia, almost uh, about 10 people, yes, including myself. Thank you.